garage. And this is our office. I have uh, the best job ever, I think. In fact, calling it a job doesn't even seem fair. It's like having a front row seat to watching God do absolutely amazing things as the team that I work with seeks to share Jesus with the kids in Wadsworth. So one of the parts of my job that um, I'm not crazy about is the fundraising. Uh, in fact, is it okay if I just say I hate fundraising? <laughs> it's probably I hate fundraising as much as you hate hearing about fundraising. But seriously, it's necessary, right? We have a lot of great stuff going on here and it takes funds to make those things happen. Last year we had a pretty significant um, financial crunch. I talked to my friend and co-worker Laurie Beal, she runs our Teen Moms program, and she had some great ideas for how we could not only raise money but do something that would consistently bring, bring funds into the ministry. So here's one of them and, and how it worked out. I thought, why don't we get junk? It was spring, cleanup week was coming up in Wadsworth, and there are always some good finds on the side of the road. <laughs> and we were looking for a fundraiser that was different than we'd done before and that might bring in some cash. So we went junking. We did. And you Jeez. might have seen us on your curb. Some of the stuff the Teen Moms and I turned into things and we sold that. Yeah. And by the end of a couple week period, we had made over a thousand dollars on selling junk. And it was neat that the Teen Moms participated in that because that got us thinking about like, what how we can include we some of that kids yeah. and what we were doing. So, you know, armed with our little uh, case study of uh, junking, I went to my boss, Steve Pouch, and asked him if we could open a second hand store. <laughs> and, uh, he gave me his usual answer. He said, sure, but I'm not giving you any money. So we set out to find a location. 